It is time to move. It's all going on. Look at it, it's empty. I'm very stressed. I'm off to go get the keys. I've been waiting for this for six bloody months. It's empty, I can't believe it. I'm just so excited to finally be settled somewhere and stay there forever. I'm about to open the door. I'm gonna have to show you a sneak peek. Look at this. Cheers. Cheers. Hello everybody. So, we're officially on the home stretch. It is time to move and it is now Thursday the 25th of February and we're moving officially tomorrow. We've been frantically packing. You've seen me be decluttering and packing the house, but today we've been doing like the proper packing, so like doing all of the um, last bits that we couldn't do until we were actually moving. So the bedroom is all packed, it looks a little bit chaotic, but it does make sense. That's some stuff that we're gonna be like, that's our suitcases to keep. The bathroom looks very sad. Look at it, it's empty. Apart from some toilet roll and our toiletries, which we're gonna pack. There's Alex's butt. <laughs> we're just about to go into the attic. The office is looking very bare. And then this is obviously all to be packed and then the spare bedroom is all ready to go so we've dismantled the bed and everything's ready downstairs is more chaotic i'll show you that in a minute but um we just had a bit of a fail because uh we just filled the car up to go to the dump and then Alex's car won't start and we tried jump starting it but our volvo you can't access the battery to jump start it so yeah it's a nightmare and um <laughs> just of course it would happen now and it happened like Alex left it to the last minute and it was like 15 minutes before the dump closed and he was like, right, I'm gonna go now. And then it wouldn't start. So that's the problem we're gonna have to figure out. Another stress to add, but like whatever, we just had a slice of cake because it was Alex's birthday this week. And um, we're gonna go into the attic to get all the boxes out of there and put them in the spare bedroom to save us having to do that tomorrow. And then also there's like boxes up there from, uh, for our like electronics so like I think there must be the box for the projector and the xbox and that kind of thing so yeah but we're so so close and tomorrow is officially the day that we move into our new home <gasps> so exciting it's officially our last evening in this house in our Cornish cottage well our Cornish cottage part one Alex just went out and we got takeaway. There's a place near us called Sloth and Sparrow that's recently opened. And oh my gosh, it's amazing. <gasps> that's Alex's burger. I think it's um, a chicken burger and chips. This is my burger. Ooh, proper brioche. Yes. We've got chicken nuggets. Um, loaded fries and mac and cheese like we went in. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we're gonna enjoy this our last evening here with our laptop because the projector has been packed away roxy's gonna drool and we'll see you in the morning see you then good morning everybody it's the day of the move um we've got about half an hour till the removal men come i'm very stressed and um we've got to put everything in our cars before they arrive all the stuff that we want to keep and we've got to think about the cats and put them somewhere that they're not going to be bothered yeah it's the day and i i wish i was more like excited but i'm just nervous until we have the keys it's just like so such a long time coming it's been six months until i have those keys in my hands and i've received the phone call that everything has gone through i'm just gonna feel so nervous you know and um the car thankfully started today because it broke down yesterday it wasn't starting the battery was dead and also now our internet is not on um, and we have no signal at the house we're obviously waiting for, for phone calls from the estate agents to tell us that we've completed and i can't receive any phone calls because there is literally no signal here and our um internet bt of course who we absolutely love in this house they cancelled it and um, we said to them, can you not do it until the end of the day? So basically like Saturday and they've done it today. So we have no internet and yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to work. But anyway, we're going to pack the car up and get going with all the moving. It's all going on. I saw you from across the room. I never knew that I could 
could feel this way And it's kind of strange Don't even know your name So all the rooms are emptying now. Um, bedroom is the only room that kind of still has stuff in it upstairs. The office, look at it, it's empty. So sad. And then the spare bedroom. Kittens are in here. Um, they were in the office, but we're having to keep them in here because of obviously removal men and we just wanted to empty one room so that they can just stay in here and they were just sort of sitting on the windowsill. I feel so bad because they seem stressed, but I've tried to make like a little thing that Zeus can hide in. I turned Roxy's bed upside down so he can go under there and the bed. I'm gonna go around and hoover and dust now because I know the hoover will probably run out of battery. Um, I'm still waiting on the phone call to collect the keys because we're gonna have to probably do a couple trips. <sighs> yeah, so it's all going on. <laughs> Alex, guess what? What? We've completed! Good. <laughs> Alex! Ah, we have completed all of our house. Can you stop? I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> this is what you do every time this joke's old. No, I've only said it twice now. Oh my gosh, I just got the email. So, um, thankfully my brother-in-law actually works at the estate agent that's dealing with our purchase. We know someone on the inside. <laughs> so we can ring him and be like, can we get the keys? So we can get the keys and then when they can go... Oh my gosh, she's just as excited as us. So we can go get the keys and then they can follow us um, and then we can come back and do the next load. But I wonder if both of us should go or just one of us? I don't mind, probably... I should, should go? Yeah. Okay, you should continue cleaning. I'm not that fussed about the yeah. sentimentality of collecting the keys. I mean, it'd just be annoying because then you can stay here with them yeah. and then... Um, yeah, okay, yeah. And yeah. You have to go up the road again. Yes. <laughs> I'm off to go get the keys, so exciting. Alex is gonna stay and do some more packing and tidying. The movers have gone to the house early so they can drop off the first load because um, the people we're buying from have said that's fine. Um, so I'll get the keys, come back here, and then hopefully the removal men will be back for us to do the next lot. And I kind of wanted to go to the house when it was empty and see it empty. It's not, you know, you can't always do things in an ideal world because I really wanted to get like before footage of the house completely empty, but I figure it's good enough for me to get footage of it with like just our furniture piled up. Um, that's fine by me. Um, and sometimes things don't always have to go to plan. I have to let go of that. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get the keys. Ah! I have the keys! Oh my gosh, this moment. I've been waiting for this for six bloody months. I actually can't believe that we have the keys. Oh my gosh, it's not sunk in. Right, I'm gonna get home so that we can get on packing and get to our new house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at it. It's empty, I can't believe it. This room's all done. <laughs> We've got, what, the office is done, this room's done. We're waiting for them to come back. Yeah. And then we've just got to bring all the stuff out of the bedroom. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to ring to give the keys over now, I think. Yeah. Because we can give them the keys and they can just come back later, yeah. I think. But, oh my gosh, I am so excited. Alex, we have the keys. Oh. We have the keys. We have the keys. We're still waiting for the removal men to come back. Um, but I thought I'd show you the state of the house. This is the living room. We've tried to bring as much as possible downstairs, but yeah, it's insane. And in the kitchen, we've got our table and then like all of our food. And then this is just kind of bits, like hangers on. And Alex is about to do the washing machine and we also have to put our bikes on the back of the car. Hey Roz, 
She's quite excited by all of this. Frankie is sunbathing in the garden. Roxy's running around quite excitably. And Zeus is a bit stressed, but that just sums up their personalities. And they're all fine, really. I just gave Zeus a little cuddle. <laughs> It's weird because it's sinking in, but also I have these like moments of feeling really excited and then moments of feeling really worried and then moments of feeling a bit sad and then like, oh my gosh. So it's like just a roller coaster of emotions. Um, and now it's, we're just waiting. And I just feel a bit like, I don't like not being at the house with the removal men there. Cause I'm like, where are they putting everything? Are they not, they're not gonna be putting stuff in the right rooms. It's gonna be sad. We did so much in this house, didn't we? But you know, Alex and I were talking last night about how We've moved consistently since we were like 18 when we met. We've been at university and lived in multiple places at uni. And then I lived in Newquay, I lived in Truro, both in Cornwall. Alex moved back to Surrey. Then we moved in together in Truro. And then we moved in with my parents. Then we moved to Brighton. And then we moved here and that's in the last like eight to 10 years. Um, we've pretty much moved every one to two years. And in between that also we went traveling where we were moving um, we went to like Thailand for six weeks and then we're moving, moving, moving and and we're in Canada for a month. So it's like, I'm just so excited to finally be settled somewhere and stay there forever. Uh, I've said this before, I can't predict the future. Maybe we won't stay there forever, but like for the next 10 years, at least as far as I'm concerned, I do not want to move house. <laughs> um, and I'm just looking forward to the impact that's going to have on our lives and our well-being and our business and our relationships and just everything. I think it's gonna really like have such a positive impact on us to know we're here and we're here for the long run and we can really like just get our roots in and settle and that's so exciting and it makes me just, it's more than just moving house. It's about like really settling in and just finding our place and being there and enjoying it and taking our time and I just can't wait. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, okay. Sentimentality over. Let's get packing. Oh my goodness. I'm about to open the door. I just can't believe it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to show you a sneak peek. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is our new home. I can't believe it. I just can't believe that they're actually our home. I'm going to run upstairs. Oh wow, there's massive holes in the, all the walls. Oh my gosh. There's so much work to do here though, it's crazy. That, you notice like when people move out, like how much stuff there is to do. Oh my gosh, okay, you guys, our last house. Look at these ceilings. I am 5'11". I reckon these ceilings are like, I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna like do a tour, but oh my gosh, look at the windows. These ceilings have got to be like six, like eight or nine feet tall. Oh my goodness me. This is our new forever home. Oh 
I'm showing you like a sneak peek without showing you a sneak peek. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> bye bye living room. Bye bye fireplace. Bye bye shutters. This is surreal, isn't it? Yes, I hate it. Bye bye kitchen. Look at that. Crazy. One last look, hey? Bye bye stairs. And the most beautiful bathroom. I'll miss you. And look at this bedroom. So sad. Oh. And the office. Oh dear. Right, Al. Time to say goodbye. Come on. Is that it? That's it, mate. You sure? You checked? Yeah. Okay. You got the key? Got the key. We're officially in, and I think it's time to pop some champagne. Um, my sister and brother-in-law kindly gave us this, and I even tried to pack the champagne glasses <laughs> so that we could like have this when we arrived. So we'll wait for Alex to pop this. I think he's gone to look at the garden. <laughs> oh, I think there's only one. Where's the other one? Uh, I've only got one. Okay. Is there another one in there? I think I've got one. Oh, <laughs> it'll do. Yeah. It'll do. So we found a beer glass, but it's kind of like flutish. Yeah. No, you. <laughs> it's your beer glass. You like beer glasses. At least I'll get more. Have you seen I like the things? Wow. You like them? I don't even notice. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was quite restrained about it. Right. Well, that wasn't very celebratory, was it? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, they left the clothes thing. Oh, yes. We've got a thing above the, um, we've got an Arga, and they've got the other thing. Oh, crikey, that didn't quite. What is this? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, and yay for the new home. We've got oh. a lot of work to do, don't we? What do you mean? Unpacking. It's so fine. much to unpack. It's fine. I'm excited. It's a big deal. <laughs> I can walk around in the kitchen. <laughs> I know the amount of space! Oh, oh, oh. I'm so happy. Right, should we end the video? Yeah, where's our dog? She's making, oh, there she is. She's right here, she's sniffing. The cats, we put them in the living room. So they're just they, in one room. They had two dogs, didn't they? The, they did. The she probably can smell them. But yeah, <sighs> thanks for watching. Subscribe for oh, more. I need some water, really, yeah. before I start drinking this. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe for moving videos. Yeah. And we're going to be unpacking and so much renovating to come and yeah thank you for watching my channel and supporting me because that's a huge part of us buying the house and moving and um why we chose this house because this kitchen is going to be amazing for future yes. videos yeah and we're so excited Yay! <laughs> see you in the next video bye bye